Thanks to Rich's fine job detailing the T239 chip for Switch 2, we know that NVIDIA Silicon has dedicated hardware decompression. Would utilization of a GPU-based decompression block be feasible from a developer perspective on a non-fixed platform like PC? Obviously, it does no one any good to pay for silicon that sits unused. Is this simply a non-starter from a software perspective? And if it isn't, do you think we'll see it by 2030? In the era of traversal stutter, it would be nice, but perhaps not worth the dice space for developmental or developmental resources. Um, I'll go to Alex on this in a minute, but I think that, you know, ultimately, if Nintendo and NVIDIA can find the dice space for a file decompression block on, uh, on, on a machine like the Switch 2, I don't think area is really an issue. Alex, what do you think? I don't think the area is an issue. I think it's been described before that these hardware decompression blocks are very small. Um, I don't think this is really an issue. Do you think we'll see? Wait, sorry, I I'm, just think it's a yeah, I'm just reading the question. The era of traversal stutter, would it be nice? But uh, traversal stutter isn't... So I think there's a slight... Like traversal stutter doesn't really have to do with the hardware decompression necessarily. It's about a whole other things. In fact, I don't think it has much to do anything with like the actual speed of transfer or necessarily the cost of decompressing it because the way it's decompressed, uh, it is it, like that's a more question itself. You can still do, still do a CPU decompression that doesn't cause a big stutter, for example. So I, I, I think the question, uh, yeah, I kind of already said what I want to say about it, but I don't think it's a big issue. Right, it could be done, basically. It's yeah. a good idea, basically. Uh, I mean, um, when we spoke to Microsoft and Sony for the release of the current gen consoles, you know, they were both all in on this. So there was the acceptance that, you know, they were talking about the amount of Zen CPU cores that it's <laughs> processing, that it saves by moving it to dedicated hardware. Uh, do you remember that, John? Yeah. 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 So it just kind of makes sense from my perspective. And, you know, what is the alternative? We've seen, um, uh, you know, the, this concept of GPU decompression. And in theory, the GPU should be able to do a fantastic job of it. But I guess the question is, you know, you know, do you want to contend resources between file decompression and actually rendering stuff, you know, in gameplay? Probably not. Probably not. No. no. I feel like that would get people angry as well. If there's, if there's any illusion or suggestion that your gpu might be doing something like that i could see people getting very worked how you know dare I mean, it alex you know exactly i know I mean. like it was i want to <laughs> pixels from this gpu not <laughs> fake data or something i don't know what they would say fake, what would they call data. it then at that point i don't know yeah i don't know <laughs> oh dear <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great idea. You know, sometimes, and I think Mark Cerny pointed this out recently, the consoles come up with great ingenious ideas and it all feeds back into the wider gaming ecosystem. And yep. I think, you know, the fact that we're seeing Switch 2 with this block sort of kind of suggests it's a good idea. It doesn't really require that much area and it can be transformative. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think the other thing, of course, is that when we are dealing with storage devices that are capable of such high throughput, the question is, what are you going to do with the data that comes in? And, you know, you've got to have the systems there to handle it.